everyone, Jennifer here. Today I wanted to do a review of the Women's Herbal Apothecary. This is a new book that just came out from JJ Purcell. And um, she's a best-selling author, and she's also the founder of Fettel Botanic. So she has her own herb business. And um, I really wanted to read this book because I'm always interested in natural healing remedies. And so this is just a wonderful companion book that um, has lots of recipes and just really great guides for healing yourself. So I wanted to sort of flip through the book and show it to you in this video. Okay, so I have a few pages that are marked, but basically the book has 200 natural remedies for healing, hormone balance, beauty and longevity, and creating calm. Really beautiful book, and it's um, broken up into different sections here. Chapter one talks about how we use herbs. Uh, chapter two talks about herbs for women. And then it's broken up into the different phases of women's lives. So right here we have the dawning phase, which is um, the menarche to 20s. And then chapter four is living, which is the 20s to perimenopause. And chapter five is fulfillment, which is menopause and beyond. Then chapter six talks about skin, body, and health. Uh, there's support in chapter seven and then making herbal medicine in chapter eight. And then there's a bunch of resources and things like that in closing. So the book goes through um, how we use herbs. And I love herbs. We have an herb garden. Some of the herbs do better than others. <laughs> but uh, historically I have grown, I've always grown mint. I've tried to grow lemon verbena and things like that. Um, this part was interesting because it talks about the different preparations of herbs. And it talks about how there's teas, tinctures, poultice, uh, fomentation, capsules, sitz baths, topical washes, herbal oils, and salves. And so it goes through the most common ways that we use herbs for healing. And of course, the most common way is with tea. Most of us have had herbal tea in our lives. So, so it goes through the various ways here. She has a list of, you know, different definitions of herbs and what they do. And of course, some herbs can be bad. So I really appreciate, you know, for example, with pregnancy, there's not, there's a lot of herbs that I personally can't take right now. And, you know, they cause, um, you know, bad things during pregnancy. So I just like how she has everything listed out, good and bad here. Um, sedatives, you know, irritants, lymphatic systems, those types of things. So I've marked this page here just to show you, you know, most of us use chamomile. I actually grew this at my old house. So, um, you know, it just tells you different things that you could do for it. The shows, you know, different conditions like fertility, pregnancy, postpartum, um, bone health, hot flashes, fibroids, ovarian cysts, that type of thing, and herbs that you can try for it, which is really nice. I like how the book is specifically for women, so it has a lot of women's issues in here, and that's really nice to just have that, um, that resource there. She has a lot of anti-aging advice and uh, advice for insomnia, for example, and I love her top tips, you know, which are common sense, but to hydrate, to eat lots of vegetables every day, to drink teas made with nourishing tonic herbs, and exercise. I think she's talking about insomnia in this chapter. I marked this page because this is the pregnancy page, and I'm pregnant right now, so I really enjoyed reading this. But she talks about pregnancy, and um, these are all the safe um, herbs that you can take during pregnancy. Some of them you can take later on in the pregnancy, some of them earlier. But she has recipes like morning sickness, herbal ice pops, nausea relief tea. So it's not just teas, she has recipes for um, sitz baths. You know, for example, this is um, after the baby, labor support. Let's see. Yeah, this one, the postpartum sitz bath. You know, all women who have had babies can understand the need for that <laughs> after you give birth. So it just really goes into that. And there's a whole section on menopause, um, perimenopause, and um, it's just a wonderful, thorough book. So there's things for migraines. She also has a skin and beauty section with lots of neat um, recipes here for that type of thing. Yeah, see in this section she talks about liver health, liver tea, um, liver tone and blood building tinctures, skin glow tincture. Now the question that most people are going to be asking is where do you get all of this stuff? Where do you get herbs? 
Well, if you live in a big city, most likely you have a, um, an herbal store near you that sells this type of thing, a health food store, or even a store that especially specializes in herbs. Um, but if you don't, you could always grow them in your own garden, or you can order them online. And she has her own online store, and I'll link everything about her below. But I just thought that this would be um, a book that would be of interest to uh, the Daily Connoisseur of yours because it's a great book and it would make a really nice present as well. So if you know anyone in your life that's interested in this or if you yourself are interested in it, I can recommend this book. I think it's, it has a wonderful resource uh, for women. Thank you for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur. I hope you enjoyed this review of The Woman's Herbal Apothecary by J.J. Purcell.